you come by? Yes. You tell him I'll be home in a little while. I just gotta run to the church and bring my pie over to the bake sale. <gasps> Uh-oh. Maybe Renata got hungry. Pete! What? Come in here, please. Did you, by any chance, have a piece of that pie? Me, no. Did you know that Emma made that for the bake sale at the church? No, no. How was I supposed to know? You could have asked me. I'm sorry, Emma. Do you know how much work goes into making a blueberry pie? Besides, you just had breakfast. All right, it's perfectly all right. We'll make another one. All right, no problem. No, no, not you. Pete and I. We'll handle it. Uh, you're kidding, right? Emma, why don't I just go into town? I can buy you no, a no, blueberry pie. No, 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 no. You they... can't take a store-bought pie to a bake sale. No, Okay, come on, Pete. Luckily, we have a lot more blueberries left. Otherwise, you can go pick some more. Uh, no, look, I'm not supposed to be putting any weight on this thing. No, that's all right. You can just sit here at the counter. It gets sticky, you just add a little more flour, okay? Hey. How's it going? Well, he's doing just fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, but once I'm finished, I think you're gonna have to take me to the hospital. Why? Oh, it's my ankle. It's worse. It's, it's hurting like crazy. Honey, why didn't you tell me? Well... I just figured I had to finish this pie first. All right, well, as soon as you're done, then, then I'll take you over to the hospital. It's all right, Julie. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'll, I'll take him over. Now, you just fit it right into this pie tin here. Both this way. Well, my goodness, look at that. Mm. Hope nobody takes a piece of this pie. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I really don't want to bake anymore. Get your foot off the chair, please. Thank you. Actually, you did a pretty good job here. Might even tell the young girls at church that you did this. Really nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you remember that time you ate my peach pie? And I blamed Meg, and you said that... Well... No, tell me about it. I want to hear about it. Well, it can't be that important if you forgot about it. Actually, I had an accident a couple years back, and I don't remember anything about my life before that. You're kidding. No, I had to get to know my family all over again, learn about my past. So wait, you don't remember anything about growing up? Go, going to school, getting grounded, nothing? <laughs> nope, nothing. Cool. Well, actually, it's not so cool because I don't remember the good times either. Maybe there weren't any. Mm, no, I think there were. But how do you know? Because I know this lady right here, and I know that my family likes to have good times. Well, I don't remember any of the good times either. But not because I lost my memory. There just weren't any. Pete, get that pie, please. Bye-bye. I see you. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Hey, what's up? I just have to get my ankle checked. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had a bad sprain. I'm bothering you too much. No, I guess I'll live. Like, watch this. Pete, in case you're wondering, Mrs. McDermott is a little old to have a baby, but it's not really hers. So what do you mean, it's adopted? No, no, she had it in a regular way. Oh, well, not that regular. It was in this store in the mall. What is it, like the store of the parent or something? Is that the joke? No, no, my Aunt Emily's the real mother. It was with her egg. Oh, so you mean you're in and Mrs. McDermott's husband? No, it will happen in a test tube. Oh, a test tube baby. Yeah, it's kind of a weird way to have a baby, don't you think? So, uh, what else have you been doing besides working here? Not too much. Uh, must be a drag hanging around sick people all day, huh? <laughs> must be a drag hanging around cows all day. Yeah, true. But uh, at least there's a pond there at the farm. It's pretty cool for swimming. You should come out sometime. I'll show you around. Yeah, maybe I will. I actually know quite a bit about the Snyder Farm, because my Aunt Emily used to be married to Holden. Hi. You're with Social Services, aren't you? Yeah. Do you need my help or something? Uh, maybe. I got a patient that could use some cheering up. Think you could read to him or something? <laughs> cheering up is my specialty. Great. Let me introduce you to him. I love working with someone that's this tall. How long have you been working here? Just tell me what the doctor said. He said I have to keep my weight off. 
that's it? That's all he said? I mean, is it gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, it should be okay. I mean, just as long as Caleb keeps me off of that ladder, you know, I mean, it could get messed up again, you know? Uh, look, Julie, um, do you think I could get cowboy boots? Cowboy boots? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, like cows. Why do you want cowboy boots? Well, because for ankle support, you know? I obviously have to have better ankle support. Ankle support. Okay. Ankle support. Well, why don't we go down to the mall and we'll uh, pick you out a pair? Great. <laughs> 